Russ, your uh, your take on that? It felt like it was a, a game of two halves, but the first half was was more than comfortable enough to see your side through. Yeah, uh, fortunately for us, we've we done um, we've done enough in the first half to win the game. I thought they were outstanding in the first half. Uh, the intensity, the connection for the team, the mentality to press, the desire to to press with such uh, ferocity and intensity. Um, something that we worked on and spoke about before the game about how important it would be. Um, and then obviously three top, top draw finishes. And I think we could have scored more goals. Cammy should have obviously scored um, with a big chance, which would have made it 4-0 and that would have been game over and we could have enjoyed the second half a bit more. Um, so really, really pleased with what I saw in the first half. Against a good team, by the way. Really like Fleetwood. A good team. Try and play the right way. Um, some really, really good players. Um, second half, we spoke about it at half-time about um, showing the same intensity, um, the same, but a bit more composure on the ball. Um, we played against obviously a team that took a lot more risks in the, in the second half. They, they came with a lot of numbers forward, which showed when we got in behind and we had a couple of big, big chances, which we should take. And then it makes everyone a bit more comfortable. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I've been honest with the players. I didn't like the second half one bit, not one bit. Um, to, we haven't been in that position. What I would say is there's some mitigating factors is that the pitch doesn't help us at the moment. I can't lie about that. You can see that. It doesn't help. Um, we've had a lot of people play a lot of football recently since the extra time at Burnley. Um, we've got players coming back, Warren. Um, we've got the bench is very young. We bring on John Freeman, Lewis Johnson, you know, Charlie Brown, uh, Matty, four players under, under the age of 21. Um, so we are, we are very low in, in depth and numbers at the moment. Um, but we, we, we weren't connected. We weren't as intense as we should be. We didn't play for each other as much as we should. Um, I, I saw too much that I didn't like. And the players know that. Um, and if we are, I don't, I don't get emotional about results. Um, I feel emotional about performance, about the players. They, they, it's very clear on what we judge them on, uh, what we work on. And too much of the second half I didn't like. So um, I should be sitting here waxing lyrical about a 3-1 win. And of course, I'm delighted with the three points. But at the same time, if we're going to go, if we're going to get better, uh, the process remains the same. Win, lose or draw, we analyse it and, 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 and we all know that the second half wasn't good enough. So, um, yeah, a strange evening, a strange evening. But ultimately, I'm pleased with, with the guys that, and, and we, we conceded too many chances. Andrew Fisher had to make too many saves, um, which doesn't happen here, which doesn't happen here usually. So ultimately, I'm very happy with the three points. Um, there's been too many times this season where I thought they played brilliantly and we haven't got what we deserve. Tonight we haven't played as well as we could have and we've won. So uh, that has to be a, a really pleasing factor for me. Well, yeah, I was, I was going to say, actually, it feels like we've seen so many times where a team comes and, and gets a few goals up and can almost rest and, and sit back for that second half. While you didn't so much sit back in that second half, that, that cushion you had in the first half gave you enough going into the second yeah, and you know, before they have a, a lot of chances late on, when we get really tired, um, we have two massive chances with Scotty Fraser and Lass, and um, yeah, we should we should score, we should we should make the most of them. But there was too much. We were in a rush to score another goal. There was too many people trying to get another goal, and, and we haven't been in that position very much. And there's some tired boys there, so I understand it. Uh, but at the same time, it's not going to be us moving forward, um, and and we need to learn from that. We learn from every game, and it's win, lose or draw. It's the same. You couldn't have wished for a, a better opening half an hour, though, and uh, a, a hat trick for Joe Mason. It's the, the first one in in almost five years. You know, it's it's that that was as, as close to perfect as it was going to get. Yeah, brilliant. Um, I mean, all of them came from intensity, from being together, from pressing high, from showing a real uh, quality in the final third. Joe has got. I spoke to you a few weeks ago about how much quality he has, how much belief I have in him. It's about getting his body a hundred percent right, which we haven't been able to do enough. He's getting there. He's had some minutes recently that have really helped him. Tonight, he was outstanding. Really good. It's general link-up play. The finishes are, you know, I'm not sure many people were able to do that on their on their weaker foot. You know, I think it was the second one where he just put it in, slapped it in with a side foot into the top corner. Just outstanding. So, we need more of that from Joe. We need to keep get him on the pitch more. Um, and he showed real intensity to press tonight as well. I was really pleased with him and Cameron in the first half in particular that, the intensity at which they went after the ball and it just gave the other the rest of the team um, energy so really pleased with that 
I think Gladwin was another one, wasn't he? After a, a, a great showing on Saturday, was the puppet master in that first half. Yeah, he's been outstanding, Ben. We just need to, um, again, manage his body, manage him right. Um, but um, we put him in a different role the last couple of games. Uh, and he's been, he was brilliant again tonight, really defensively on the ball. Um, yeah, we were fortunate he was, he was playing tonight, I think. A word for the goalkeeper then. He um, made some fantastic stops and, you know, didn't really have an awful lot of opportunities aside from the goals on, on Saturday, but tonight proved his, uh, proved his worth. Yeah, he's, um, he's been excellent since he came in. He is, uh, obviously everyone can see how comfortable he is and confident he is with the ball at his feet. Um, but he's a top, top goalie when he's required to make saves. And I think um, the, the beauty of playing goal for our team most of the time is he doesn't really have much to do uh, other than the ball at his feet. We, we limit teams to very little. Tonight, he's, we've had to use him far too much. But when he was called upon, some of the saves he made were outstanding. He made a save that was just fantastic. When, and then Dean Lewington threw his body on the line. Um, Dino was excellent again tonight defensively. Um, so yeah, we I said to the boys after, you know, they, they need to thank Fish because he he uh, was called upon far too much, and when he was, he was outstanding. It's not often that you know a, a man of the match contender goes to your goalkeeper when you won three one, is it? No, exactly, and um, I'm sure Mace will have something to say about that. But uh, yeah, some of the saves he made were big, and that's why I'm disappointed. We shouldn't have to use him that much. We shouldn't have to rely on him that much in the second half, and uh, that's the uh, that's the real frustration. But um, He's been a big signing for us, and he was very late, obviously signing. And he, he was, he he took a pay cut to be here. I'm sure he won't mind saying that. He, he showed a lot of desire to play here, and he's he's proven why at this minute in time he's number one. And he knows he's got Lee Nichols breathing down his neck, who came in for two games in the cup games and was was excellent. Um, but Andrew Fisher deserves to be playing at the moment, and um, and and he justified that tonight. Ultimately, though, it is three points. It's um, another step up in the league table. You know, it's, it's, it's great to have shown the ability to bounce back from, from Saturday. Yeah, and these players, you know, whenever they're questioned uh, or we've been on a poor result, um, again, I didn't feel the performance was very bad on Saturday. So, um, but whenever they've been questioned, they usually bounce back very well and they did tonight. So I'm really pleased on that, on, on that side of it because tonight was a tough game. It was one game too many for a lot of players physically. It was uh, against a team that I, I think are very, very good. Um, so, yeah, we've obviously I'm really pleased to, to get through it and win. And now we, we've got a week to get a few people back fit. We've got a week to try and bring new bodies into the football club to help us out. Um, and by next Tuesday, um, I'm sure we'll be in a, in a better place. And, you know, on a positive note, I think we've lost one in five and we've won, we've won three of those and drawn the other one against the Premier League club. So, um, I think, yeah, won four of those and drawn one. So... Um, yeah, so we've got to be pleased and we've got to keep keep uh, momentum now. Um, we saw Ethan Laird come off. He's taken a couple of heavy kicks in that second half. How's he doing? Yeah, I think he's just getting used to life in League One. So uh, I'm sure he'll be fine. But I was, ple I was pleased. I've been really pleased with him. We need to get some work into Ethan so he understands fully what we're doing. But he's shown real glimpses of um, what he's about. So, yeah, I've been pleased with Ethan and he's got a lot of improvement to make as well. And your new defender that you're already very familiar with in, in uh, Warren O'Hara stepping into the, the centre of that three tonight really stood out, I thought. Yeah, he's not played that role much, but I thought he was brilliant. Him and Dino, uh, uh, you know, Regan done well as well. Um, so, yeah, I was really pleased with Warren. He hasn't played, he, and he, to be honest, he's trained fully once. So it was a, a bit of a risk to put him in, but I felt we needed him. Shows you how much he's grown with this group that at 20, 21 years old, that he is... Um, a really important member of us and he hasn't played in the middle before but I thought he'd done brilliantly really really well he's a real um, he's got the potential to be a real leader with us in the next uh, few years and that's why I think it's a really important signing for the football club I know we only spoke yesterday um, about it but any any movement in that hunt, uh, hunt for a new defender um, we, we, we're moving <laughs> but um, at this minute in time it's uh, it's not it's not as close as, as we'd like it to be, but I think we will we will get there slowly. But surely, as I said to you in, in January, it's difficult because other teams will want us to find a replacement and with COVID and everything else, it's, it's making it quite difficult. But I'm confident by the by the end of uh, the transfer window, we'll have we'll have one or two in that we, we really want and will really improve us. Last one. Cheers, Russ. Russ, first, uh, 
home game of the new year. It must, it must be nice to be back after being on the road. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and we've been we've been good at home on the whole for for our whole time here. I think people know it's a difficult place to come. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, we like playing here. We, the boys enjoy playing here. You can see that better if the fans were here, of course. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased to to, to be back here and. Uh, we picked up some good points recently, especially away as well. So, um, yeah, we have to keep keep working to improve. And um, I think anyone who comes in now knows it's going to be a tough game. Obviously, this time of year is usually quite uh, busy with the schedule, but you've got Saturday off this week. It must be nice to be able to uh, have a week where you can start working on things ahead of another home game next year. Yeah, well, we have Saturday off of a game, but we're in training. So, uh, um yeah, it's, I think we need the break, if I'm honest. Another game might have been one too many with the squad numbers that we've got at the minute. Another week to give people a bit of time to get fit, uh, get back fit, a bit of recovery time now for the players who have played a lot of minutes. So um, it's probably a, probably a good timing for us, um, even though we've been on good form and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, James, the process doesn't change, win, lose or draw. Um, so uh, we have a lot of work to do. We are we are in a in a good place in terms of performance on the whole. Um, and we know there is a, there's a, we are a work in progress, said so that all along, but this team has, has, has improved greatly in, in the year and a bit or whatever since we've been in charge. They've shown that. And now we need to kick on and see what we can do this year. It's about improving on last year. I've said that all the way along. And we have to keep clawing teams back in. And the players knew that tonight, that if we won, we were a point behind these guys now. Um, and we just have to get as close to the teams above us as we possibly can and, and just keep clawing them back. Cheers, Russ. No problem. Warren O'Hara moved across to the role that used to be occupied by Richard Keogh. Do you think that Warren's learned quite a lot from shadowing Richard in their time together? Yeah, I mean, Warren, when you knew he was going to play there, watched a lot of clips. So we, with the analysts, with Ben and, and Liam and myself and Luke, um, he wants to learn. He wants to do it as well as he possibly can, whatever he's asked to do. And I think that showed off and that showed tonight. And um, yeah, I think Richard's been important for you know quite a few of the young lads, as is Dean Lewington as is Andy Sermon, as is Cammy Jerome. That's why they're here. Um, not just to add to the, on the pitch, but to show these guys what it's about. And Warren has uh, got an unbelievable attitude and approach to his football, to his, to his life. He wants to learn, very committed professional at his age, for his age. And um, that's why we, I was so keen to, to sign him permanently. And I'm really grateful that he's decided to, that this is the place he wants to learn and develop and improve. Absolutely, yes. Um, there's been a couple of games, obviously, this season where the Dons have had problems with conceding the early goal and it obviously tilting the balance. How satisfying was it to get an early one today? Yeah, lovely, of course. And when we, when we go in front, I think, as the record shows, we are very hard to beat. And uh, I think we've won every game we've been in front, apart from Burnley, possibly, which is in the Cups, so it's a bit different. Um, so, yeah, obviously, gives you a lot of... And the, the players really believe that as well. If we score first, it's, it's, you know, it's a completely different game. So I was pleased with that. 